When you first open up your hot water on demand H2 Oasis Elite, you should find included the pump, an 8 foot non kink silicon hose, a deluxe shower head with four settings, a handy hose storage bag, articulating shower head bracket, and of course the instruction manual. To assemble the unit, start with the shower head bracket. Unscrew the end cap and separate the two pieces. Place one end on the shower head point, fit the other end on, and screw the locking cap onto the back to tighten. Loosen the cap to adjust the shower head to the desired position, then tighten to lock into place. Next, screw the base of the shower head to the silicon hose until it's finger tight. Take the other end of the hose and, like a garden hose, pull the top back slightly and attach it to the outlet point, waiting for the click to make sure it's connected well. Now attach the pump to the inlet point in the same way you did for the silicon hose. On the pump hose, there's also a power cable which needs to be plugged into the rear DC jack labelled pump. When you place the pump in your source of water, make sure the pump remains this side up as it affects the flow of water. Make sure you fully submerge the pump in your body of water. We always recommend to use Coleman Lightweight LPG. Take the bottle and align it with the underside of the regulator and screw it on until it's finger tight. Now the unit's ready to operate. Flick the battery lock switch to the on position at the back of the unit and position your shower head to where you would like the flow of water. Make sure the shower head is in the open position. Turn the unit on to operate the pump and wait a moment for the water to flow through. The shower head has four different settings. Single stream for dishes, spray, outer spray and off. The off setting will cause the unit to have a flow error and shut off automatically. Before igniting the unit, you'll need to have water flowing through the shower head. Once the water is on, push the ignition knob in slightly and rotate anti-clockwise to the ignition point and then push in firmly. You should hear an ignition sound. Hold this in until you see the flame indicator on the display light up. Release and turn the knob to the desired temperature. You should see the temperature of the water on the display start to increase instantly. The first ignition can take between 10 to 12 seconds, but every ignition after that should be faster. To turn it off, simply reverse the order. Turn the dial off and allow the water to run. The flame indicator will go off shortly and the unit will turn itself off. If you need more help with your hot water on demand unit, check out our troubleshooting video.